Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. In our entrepreneurial and image designing course, we will cover different two topics, which will help you getting ready for your business, career life, and even be able to be a good employee in a company. What do we mean by that and what we are going to cover in this course? This is what we are going to discuss in this video. First of all, let's, let's go over the description of this course. In this course, we have two different topics we will cover. Image editing and designing images, posters and more, and be aware of digital marketing and what do we mean by that in the image editing module allows the students to reinforce apply and transfer their academic knowledge and skills to a variety of interesting activity in this course students will learn how to take a professional photo and then use the advanced adobe photoshop professional features to en enhance these photos Emphasis in place is a place on a graphic design techniques, photo enhancing software, imaging tools like scanners, digital cameras, etc. And projects importing material from other source, says copyright and ethical issues and using the internet to enhance all of the above. This is a, a lab class or work is completed using computers on site. So I think you have now an idea about what do you mean by image editing. Image editing we will use a professional software which is Adobe Photoshop to be able to edit, create, design different images using of course imaging tools like scanners, digital cameras, getting pictures from the internet to prepare uh, our own project like creating posters, banners, flyers, and more. Maybe you have to be part of the student counselor and you want to prepare a poster to talk about self or to present yourself. This course will help you to do that. The digital marketing module covers the main concepts and the skills of digital marketing, such as creating a web presence, optimizing content for search engine engines, using social media platform, selling online and different types of advertising, as well as monitoring and improving campaigns using analytics. Digital marketing is a growing sector and workers with these skills are in demand as business access in new markets through online channels. They need uh, employees who can help to build their online trading and commerce capabilities. This module is suitable for a wide range of candidates, for example, entrepreneurs, employees of a small and medium-sized enterprise, students and marketing professionals who want to build and certify their digital marketing skills. So my dear students in our second module, as you see, you will understand the digital marketing concepts and how to uh, use the skills of digital marketing. Uh, of course, for digital marketing, you will need to create a website, uh, publish um, your, uh, let's say, your products, talk about your business, using so different social media platforms to publish your work. Uh, of course, nowadays, digital marketing is growing in, in a very strong way. So we will be able, we need to be able to catch up with this business concept. And maybe once a day, you will be, uh, you will have your own uh, e-commerce or let's say your own business and you need to be part of the digital marketing uh, sectors. Now let's find out more details about each module. The image editing module covers the main concept and skills needed to use and work with images. 
This model develops good practice when creating, editing, and outputting digital images. With this module, we were going to, going to cover different categories and apply different skills. Uh, here we have imaging concepts where, where we learn about the digital images, uh, the graphic formats, color concepts. Uh, you should understand all of that before you start working on editing images. Uh, also, you will learn about image capturing, how to capture different images. Also, uh, we, then we'll start after that with using the applications, which is Adobe Photoshop, by image creation, setting, enhancing productivity of the software. Then we'll spend a good time working with images, where we will learn the selection tools, image manipulation, layers, text, effect, and filters. And of course, we have drawing and painting, where we'll be able to use the drawing and painting tools. So this is what we have with image editing module. In our second module, digital marketing, the digital market modules cover the main concept and skills of digital marketing, such as creating a web presence, optimizing content for search engine, using social media platforms, selling online, different types of advertising, as well as monitoring and improving campaigns using analytics. Uh, of course, we have different categories like digital marketing concept, web presence, social media setup, social media management, online marketing and advertising, and analytics for the data. And we'll go over different skills, of course, within this module. By end of this module, uh, you will find yourself that you'll be able uh, to understand more about digital marketing concepts and using it and how to be able to use uh, the, let's say, the features and the options of uh, internet to help you create your own uh, business, e-business, of course. Of course, as any uh, IT course or any course in the school, we have assessment and we have grading outlines. This is considered as external uh, course uh, where you will sit for your external exam by end of each semester and you need to go over uh, there are certain categories and rubrics within our assessment like quizzes exams assignments and participation and uh, also we have uh, uh, of course our assessment a1 a2 e1 and the same goes for second semester where our a1 will be out of 35 our a2 will be also out of 35 and our final will be out of 30 where we have exam, quizzes, assignments, and participation for each assessment. Uh, the expectation for this course as any other IT course, and even school courses, uh, you have to be in your class on time, ready with all your uh, material, the one you need. Of course, we have to respect yourself, your teachers, and the school property. You have to listen to the instructions, and no mobile is allowed. Uh, no mobile is allowed inside the class. No. Uh, my dear students, this was an introductory video for this course, where uh, I try to introduce what we are going to cover this year. I wish everything is clear, and uh, my aim to let you be able to, of course, work with the. Uh, criteria and areas we are talked about. Thank you.